Hey amigos, all you healthy flamingos. Today we'll discuss how to prevent and control diabetes. It's becoming one of the most widespread chronic diseases affecting millions of people worldwide. The question that worries our minds is, can we prevent this adult onset type 2 diabetes? And once we do get it, how can we manage it smarter? Greasy and sugary carbs along with long hours of sitting at work or in front of the TV result in continuous weight gain. An unhealthy weight and sedentary lifestyle is the main culprit leading to diabetes. Research has shown that people with a higher BMI and those who experience muscle loss from inactivity are more susceptible to developing diabetes with advancing age. Food that we eat is broken down into sugar molecules known as glucose that can be easily absorbed by the cells of the body. The glucose molecules have to do teamwork with this other molecule known as insulin to get inside the cells though. So they're like a tag team and they work efficiently together. In type 2 diabetes, either the body does not produce enough of insulin to help out the glucose molecules or the insulin that is being produced in our bodies is not able to help the glucose enter inside the cells. This is also known as insulin resistant diabetes. As a result, there is too much sugar hanging out in our blood, known as blood glucose concentration, which can damage the liver, kidneys, eye, and nerves. Also, a very common symptom of diabetes is tiredness and fatigue and feeling of thirst and frequent urination. Since the cells of our body do not have enough of sugar, they become more tired and also more dehydrated. It's therefore crucial to maintain a healthy weight and BMI to prevent this onset of diabetes. In order to maintain a healthy weight or to lose excessive weight, one can make a habit of eating balanced meals that have the right proportions of vegetables, fruits, starch, and proteins. A visual guidance is to fill up half of the plate with non-starchy greens, a quarter with lean proteins, and another quarter with starchy foods. Additionally, staying active and participating in light to moderate activity and doing aerobic exercises ensures a positive energy flow through our system and prevents muscle loss. Once a person is diagnosed with diabetes, it's important to regularly measure and monitor your blood sugar levels. A daily routine of balanced and frequent meals with lean protein, lots of fibers, and low carb content is recommended. As already discussed, the meal plate should be a quarter protein, a quarter starch, and a half of non-starchy veggies and some fruits. Substituting sweet cravings with naturally occurring sugar such as those found in dates and honey and those found naturally in fruits can reduce blood sugar spiking. Additionally, maintaining light to moderate daily exercises that is not too strenuous is also recommended. Seven to eight hours of sleep in diabetic patients cannot be overemphasized. Some people with type 2 diabetes can manage their sugar levels naturally with this healthy eating and regular activity and moderate exercises. If sugar cannot be controlled naturally, your doctor may prescribe oral medications. It's important to always remember to take these meds regularly as needed. Pill boxes are a great way to organize them so we can stay on top of our meds. In more advanced diabetes, the doctor will prescribe insulin shots to help maintain blood sugar levels. The injected medication acts much faster in our bodies. Therefore, it's necessary to coordinate the insulin shots with timely meals taken throughout the day. Besides frequently checking our weight, blood sugar, and blood pressure levels, it's very important for diabetic patients to do several other annual checkups. Urine and blood tests should be done for monitoring heart, kidney, and liver functioning. Also, a dilated eye exam, a dental exam, and a complete food exam every year is highly recommended. If you've enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to The Healthy Flamingo for all of our weekly updates. And thank you again for watching. See you next time.